Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you like business and marketing content, then this is the channel for you. So I'm gonna encourage you to like and subscribe. And in studio today, I've got Vickers. Yes, how's it? Like to have you here, my brother. Let's chat about how to build a winning local business website. We work with a lot of local businesses. One of the biggest issues we usually see is that people struggle to get the website right. Yeah. There's always technical issues or visual issues and a bunch of issues at the end of the day. And we usually do an audit on these things to make sure that everything is in place, especially if we're gonna be running Google ads to that local business website. So let's maybe unpack some tips and ideas, best practices maybe, if you will, on how to actually go about building a high converting, a really good winning website if you're a local business. I mean, I'm happy to start with the first one. We've spoken about this many, many times, but the first thing we do is we look at uh, whether the website is clean and professional and well-designed in terms of you know the aesthetic of it. Yeah. Um, that's really crucial, but maybe we can just touch on why that is. Yeah, so I think that's important because people buy with their eyes, right? And we need to be cognizant of that. And it's also like how people perceive your brand at the end of the day and no matter who you are what company you are a good looking and aesthetic pleasing website is always going to help you stand out from the crowd and it's always going to give people that perception of this is a professional brand and this is people that are serious about their business and that also cares about their business at the end of the day 100 percent. and we recently started our own cleaning company yes. uh, going really well and whatnot and one of the first things we did was build a website maybe you can touch on what we did right yeah uh, because i want to touch on the second point which is most people have very vague ambiguous messaging and the one thing we always advise people to have is very clear concise and direct messaging so maybe you can touch on because you actually took charge of putting that site together yeah. maybe you can provide some ideas and some tips on what we actually did in terms of messaging so firstly we need to understand why we built the website in the first place and the main reason was because we were going to run paid ads for the brand and ultimately when you run paid ads people applying for your services uh, or products will want to do their background checks and research on the brand to see if it's credible because if they're going to pay you money you want to make sure that you spend your money wisely ultimately and we wanted to make sure that through the website that we kind of like check that box and from a messaging perspective we want people to understand what exactly it is we do as a business and um, we purely just said something like commercial and residential cleaning uh, cleaning you can't DIY so it's absolutely clear as to what we do who we serve what makes us unique and then we also put the locations on the home page so people understand in what locations we also operate in or immediately kind of like checking the two boxes that people usually ask us immediately when they ask for quotes. And I think when we had the conversation earlier, you mentioned something about uh, the DIY part in our message because a lot of people will think, well, I can just do this myself. But we specifically added things you can't DIY Yeah. because then they go, oh, this is the kind of cleaning that they probably do very intense cleaning because it's not something I'm going to be able to do with the chemicals and the, and the machines that exactly. I have. It's like, how do you differentiate yourself from every other cleaning company out there? And for this cleaning company specifically, we use commercial grade equipment. We use special cleaning products. We uh, really do things that you don't clean every single day like upholstery carpets and all of that stuff and uh, we just wanted to make it absolutely clear that we help people in the commercial and residential space so ultimately number one have a clean professional look and feel uh, something that's obviously appropriate to the industry and whatnot secondly have a clear message and i think a lot of people are too ambiguous they use phrases that are just overly used and people become almost like blind to it like superior cleaning yeah. uh, stuff like that doesn't mean anything anymore because everybody says it so the words that you actually choose are losing impact because so many people are using those words so it's like how can you construct a sentence that makes people perceive your brand different to anybody else's and that is clear and direct and immediately tells people what you do how you do it and what makes you unique love it man and i think when it comes to number three i mean that ties in with point number three that we want to make today and that is that on the site as people are visiting it and scrolling it and, and really giving it the time and attention that they obviously feel it deserves at the end of the day what we try and do is answer as many questions as possible because one thing we need to keep in mind is that people will start to subconsciously have different questions mm. uh, in their minds about the product or service is like is this legit yeah. you know how does this work how much does it cost can i afford it how quickly can you come if i inquire all of those type of questions will be happening in their minds and what we need to do is we need to proactively try and answer that best we can on yeah. the page and how do, how do we go about doing that just out of interest yeah so there's, there's kind of like a checklist that i follow mentally and normally a good way to go about it is like also just looking at frequently asked questions that if somebody inquires for your business what do they normally ask you for and um, i think there's also a psychological sales element to that as well it's like a website is ultimately just a mix of being direct with people to tell them what exactly you do and then moving over to frequently asked questions and stuff that they normally ask and combining that with sales psychology so the checklist pretty much goes like on the top section of the website you want to be clear direct and tell people exactly what you do you want to give people an opportunity to 
request a quote and the initial call to action and then from there you can jump into more like what i call a benefits and feature list and we just normally rephrase like frequently asked questions in a way that looks like benefits for the business and from a cleaning perspective that is pretty much like we take payments on site something like that or our cleaning has quick drying times normal questions that people ask you can get a same day booking or same week booking stuff like that and then from there we like to incorporate reviews so we have a plugin that we pull in google reviews into the sites and then um, in the cleaning space before and afters is also a big thing so we put before and afters just that on the site and then the bottom section is just our contact details and some additional frequently asked questions and that's just how we structure that site and um, it checks all the elements from a sales psychology perspective and then also from what people normally ask us to make the sales process faster because ultimately to me a site is pretty much just the place where people can get all of the information that they need as fast and as efficiently as possible so that they can make a buying decision yeah i think while we're on that topic we've touched on point number four and five what we wanted to make was reviews and, and before and after photos so we yeah. can just dive deeper into that in a second but it's so important to take into account writing copy for people that scan so yeah. because that's what most people do when they enter a website is they just scan they don't really yeah, read exactly. every single word so you know do you have big and bold elements in place to highlight specific words that you know people would want to see do you have ideal line spacing so that the sentences are not too condensed in a way where it's difficult to read it almost looks like a long whatsapp joke <laughs> but i like using our sites as an example i'm very proud of you know how we've constructed it and you'll see if you had to go on the media site you know we have big mm. uh, written letters we have a lot of images a lot of videos a lot of stuff that allows people to rest their eyes strategically we start to handle almost like tell a story with our site now every yeah. industry is different that's what's working for us and you need to figure out obviously what works for you or business and your industry by testing all these different things but i think best yeah. practices would be to write copy for people that specifically scan because that's going to be 99 percent of the people yeah the other thing that i did on the site i went and researched our competition like it sounds so cliche and everybody like whenever you listen to something or read a book everybody says hey compare yourself to other but um legitimately i, I went to a sheet i made all the biggest players in, in the country with regards to cleaning i looked at all of their sites and i literally went and took the best sites and made it even better mm. and made it even simpler and made it look even cleaner and i think that gave us a really good base to work from and to start from and then i put my own spin from a copy perspective and from a creative perspective mm. in it and um yeah just yeah. the Applied some up-to-date stuff in the industry. Yeah, I love it, man. I think everybody knows that reviews and testimonials are crucial, but I think everybody also underestimates how important it is. So we know it's important, but I actually had a conversation with someone today who said, I don't want to add reviews to my site because it's a double-edged sword. Some people will say good things and some people will say bad things. And I said, dude, that's open for debate. And I believe it's a very subjective opinion because even in the negative reviews, sometimes there is value. So someone would say mm -hmm. like, I love the service, but it took them a week to get to me because they were so busy that's not necessarily a negative review that yeah. just means in essence that your service is on high demand and also you can selectively choose which reviews you want to show or not yeah. so from my perspective reviews are a must and ideally you want to be as honest and truthful as possible and sometimes even the average reviews actually carry more power because it doesn't look like you faked it if someone says mm. i love the service x and y was amazing but you know a b and c wasn't as amazing as i thought it would be it's sometimes those reviews carry more weight because it's more authentic yeah. so so reviews are so crucial. Any thoughts just on that specifically? Yeah, not specifically on reviews, but what I've noticed is a lot of local business owners don't necessarily focus on reviews. That's a big thing that I've seen. And like, we've always been trying to encourage them as much as possible. And even for some of our clients, we've set up automations to get reviews in purely because they don't have the time or they don't see the value in it. Um, and it also depends on what industry and what business you are in. But for vast majority of businesses, reviews is super important. I think it's, it was a stat, I can't remember the exact number, but it was extremely extremely high it was above 60 percent i think it was close to 70 percent of people do their research on google specifically yeah. before they actually go about buying a product or service so taking that into account that's why reviews are so crucial because yeah. they are going to want to look and see who has used your service and whether they appreciate it and enjoyed it or not yeah this might be a bit snarky but i don't like even on uber eats when i look at restaurants and stuff i want to order from i don't order from a restaurant like literally below a 4.5 rating mm. because i've had really bad experiences from from like general fast food chains or whatever the case may be but I religiously even when I go to a restaurant I look at reviews I don't go to a place that doesn't have good reviews my personal kind of like frame is I don't look at restaurants below a 4.5 rating and that's just how it is I don't want to drag this out unnecessarily but I think this is worth sharing I was in Eisner last week and we were literally driving around looking for a breakfast spot and I literally said to my wife please google any cafes that are open right now it was like 8 o'clock 9 o'clock in the morning and we found a few and as I went through the reviews 
I went from high to low and then I looked at the best reviews. But then also I look at how many reviews they had. Yep. So even if it, was, if it was like five star and they only have like three reviews, I'm like, nope. I'm not going to I'm not going to go yeah. there because for all you know is it's the business owner and her staff that reviewed yeah. the cafe and we found a spot that had a 4.7 star rating and it had over 100 reviews and it was open and I was like that's where we're going and she's like yeah. how do you know and I was like trust me I've looked at the reviews and she's like but this cafe also has good reviews I was like yeah but it's only got five <laughs> reviews and she was like what does that matter I was like yeah. trust me and we went there and we had an amazing experience yeah it's and just like guaranteeing it just reduced the amount yeah. of risk for me as okay. someone who's driving around going to spend money on my whole family eating breakfast mm. it's the same with people looking for a wrapping service for their cars or a cleaning service for their house or offices or a beauty service for laser treatment whatever yeah. it is people are going to look at those things more than you think actually they do yeah. and that obviously ties also in with previous work and jobs and success maybe that you've had depending on the service that you offer is just before and after photos yeah. i think in cleaning industry that's super crucial because people can see wow if the house looked like that and it looks like this now that's yeah. incredible but at the same time that's really applicable to any other local business, whether it's a dentist, whether it's you know a beauty business that's doing laser hair removal. Yeah, I think people underestimate not just the review side, but also how important actual footage is of jobs that they have done. Yeah, I think we've covered about five things. Clean, professional look and feel, yeah. clear, concise message. We spoke about answering questions that people will you know have in the back of their minds proactively yeah. as you write out copy for the site. We've spoken about reviews, before and after photos. Is there any last tips that we have to share? Yeah, the last thing that I would look at um, from what you've just mentioned is a clear and concise call to action. Yeah, it also depends on your business what that call to action is. Like if you are a quote-based business, I would probably say request a quote. If you're a consultant, you might want to yeah. say book a call. Exactly. You want to make sure that people understand what is the next step that they need to take. And I also like putting a little scarcity underneath that button, just saying we have limited spots during the week or we have limited spots, weekly spots available or something in those lines. Yeah. And If um, you inquire now, we can get this job done hopefully in the next seven days. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe just give giving them an incentive to click that button and to uh, get a quote that just drives your cost per lead down once you start running paid ads to your website also that's going to get your conversion rate higher on your site as well beautiful man i think that's all we have for today i want to say thank you to you and if there was any value in it for you on the other side of this video i want to encourage you to like and subscribe for more content like this thanks Vix. cheers cheers